Hello again, YouTube. Welcome back, everybody. So today is episode five of Obvious Reasons. I'm inside of a dumpster, so it's episode five of GameStop Dumpster Dive Nights. Um, I'm in the dumpster right now. KP Sexy is going to be holding the camera. So, um, yeah. So we'll begin. So she's going to just walk the camera over here and shine it into the dumpster. We've got a bunch of stuff going on. I'm going to dig through here, and as I find stuff, she'll shine the light back up at me. And I'll show you guys what it is. So. Okay, so some promotional advertisement. Nothing we're gonna hold on to. Okay, here we go. Xbox One case, PlayStation 4 case. They seem to be damaged a little bit, but not too much. They can still be used, especially if I break one of my cases on accident. So I'll hold on to those. We've got the promotional only advertisement display for Call of Duty Ghost for some reason. So interesting. Forza 5. So the Rise of Iron promotional advertisement for the Destiny Galahorn if you pre-ordered. Just a bunch of different flyers. Nothing I'm going to hold on to, but it's pretty cool that it's Destiny related and I'm a Destiny channel. So What's this? Who? What's this? What's this? Holy shit. Sweet. Dishonored 2 promotional advertisement. I will actually hold on to that. Um, that's not important. We do have some promotional advertisement for Infinite Warfare. That's not important. Some more for downloadable game add-on, Rise of Iron stuff. Promotional advertisement for Skyrim. And this is the stand-up promotional advertisement. This is actually the one that has the fold-up stand. That's actually worth money on eBay. So I will definitely be holding on to that. We've got some more promotional advertisement that's not ripped up, surprisingly. A bunch of the game release lists of the games that were supposed to be coming out, so that's not important. The Infinite Warfare promotional advertisement was also, oh, Battlefield 1 too. So Battlefield 1 on one side, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare on the other. Kind of rare that you see two different companies on one piece of promotional advertisement. Promotional advertisement for Dishonored 2 as well. So another piece of Bethesda merchandise. That's worth money. Promotional advertisement for Destiny the Collection, the fold-up pieces. So that's worth something. We got two of those.
Gears of War field guide. The field guide for Gears of War, brand new. Not even bent, not damaged. We got an envelope. Nothing in it. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater PlayStation game. They're actually taking PlayStation games right now um, for returns because they're doing all legacy consoles. Uh, nothing in the case though, so not important. Um, I could, I guess, sell the case on eBay for a dollar, but we're not going to. Another case. A DLC code um, for Little Big Planet Karting. I actually have it on the PlayStation 3, so I'm going to actually see if this code still works. I won't redeem it. I'll probably just give it away on the channel. I don't know why I would really need it. I don't play this game anymore. Um, we'll put that in the box. Pre-order and get terminal bonus map. This is a advertisement sticker for the Infinite Warfare. And they, I guess, didn't use it. It's all sealed up and everything. Straight from Activision. Okay, and that's where I'll end the video because I don't feel like dealing with a bunch of people's chewed up food and whatever else is probably in that bag. We dug through the dumpster, we found a bunch of really cool stuff, promotional advertisement and all around no games this time around which was a surprise no playstation 4 boxes either so that's a surprise but we did find a bunch of posters a bunch of stuff that can be sold on ebay if you're a collector and pretty pretty happy with this episode so episode five of the gamestop dumpster dive nights if you guys want to like the video and comment down below any of your questions or concerns and also subscribe for daily content on the channel and we'll see you all in the next dumpster